I'm James Stoko and I am a salmon fishing guide on the mighty time and a salmon fishing fanatic for the last 25 years and I have the greatest job on this planet introducing new people and seasoned pros to this river and these fish. So one thing I love to do when I'm fishing is go light. Literally, if I haven't got the net, just a little black waterproof bag with a few fly boxes in, some leaders, my rod and reel in line, because <laughs> the, the more you carry, the more stuff that gets in the way, the more things you forget. Well, I'm used to I forget stuff all the time, but just travel light because we want to bounce around the pools. We want to keep lightweight and mobile. So literally my magic bag here, it's full of a few um, few special goodies. Fly box, just my dress flies. I love to keep them separate. Keep your dress flies and your tube flies separate so I'm not um, carrying too much in my pocket all the time. Tube box, obviously full of mill. Another fly box, just random stuff. I, I do like to take a selection of these flies that are in my bag, put them in a small handy one and just keep them on us all the time. Like a select few, just like my favorite flies that I'm gonna be using. Other important things, leader. I always carry too much leader, but you, you never know when you might need more. Um, the, I do chop and change quite often, subject to the time of year. So I'll have a, a 13, a 15, and a 17.5 leader there. But like I say, that, that masterclass stuff with the diameter of the leader is, is the best I've used yet. It just gives you an extra edge in the summer when you're fishing long leaders and tiny little flies. And even in the back end as well, I'll even push it up to 20 pound, just to have a bit more solidity. And the hooks, always gonna have tube fly hooks. More the merrier, ranging from about size 12 to size six. If you can get away with a bigger hook, I much, I much prefer a bigger gape hook because those small hooks sometimes with bigger fish, I'm always gentle and delicate when I'm playing them. But if I've got a bigger hook, I can play the fish a little bit harder. And one more thing that I always tell clients and guests and friends that fish, when you're fishing for fresh fish, their mouths are so soft, so it is critical you don't overplay the fish, don't rive on with them, just be nice and delicate. And the most important thing, when you get a take, do not strike, hands down, do not strike. Let the fish hook itself. If you wanna fish with a loop of line or straight off the reel, or if you even figure eight on moving it, just keep it locked for a split second, raise that rod very slowly, and just either let the fish take the, the loose line or get it on the reel. A lot of people will rush to get the line on the reel. You do not want that line to go slack and if the fish runs towards you, it's exactly what's gonna happen and you're possibly gonna lose the fish. Another thing we must talk about, subject to what system, line system you're using, poly tips. So I use a, a real Versi tip, Scandi Versi tip, and you get four different tips with it. When you start off fishing in the morning, you don't know what's gonna happen in the afternoon, river might come up, you don't know what pools you're gonna fish. So having the ability to change the depths is, is critical. If you want to fish over the fish first, high up with a full floating line, fish it. But sometimes, if you know there's fish around, it is worthwhile changing the depth of the fly. And you can do that with a tube fly, but it's far greater using these tips. And they, they range from full floating to nine inches per second. So you, you're covered in, in all manner. It saves you carrying around loads of reels. Literally all I do, put the line through the tip and it takes two seconds to change it. One more important thing. And you're gonna laugh, everyone always laughs. No, it's not a bottle opener, well it is, but it's also a thermometer. It doesn't matter what type of thermometer you use, and I use this all the time because I like to know the temperatures that I'm fishing in, whether it's the spring, summer, autumn. Fish, once the water gets up to 18 degrees Celsius, it becomes really tough and actually quite dangerous for the fish. And the most important thing is the setup. Now, different times of the year, I'll change some of my rods. I've got a good range of rods, my favorite is a 13.6, but I have two switch rods, 11 foot. I've got a 15 foot powerhouse, and it's all subject to the conditions and the size of the river you're fishing. I've just been fishing the River D for a week and I used my 15 foot all week. I didn't enjoy it. So fishing today with this 13.6 was phenomenal. You don't need to break the bank. I don't expect anyone to rush out there and spend a fortune on rods. You don't have to. 
I don't want to mention the brand, but there's some phenomenal rods you can get for just over £100, which will do exactly the same job as the more expensive ones. It's like anything, you, a lot of the time you're paying, you are paying for the badge, the more expensive rods, you have got the action and the quality and they are lighter and nicer to use, but to start off with, definitely don't break the bank. You don't need to be spending more than 150 quid on a rod. Same with the real, really, <laughs> Brands are gonna hate me, it's a glorified line holder. Any reel will do, as long as it's got a solid, reliable drag. Like I say, you could probably spend 50 to 100 quid. For me, the most important thing is the line. I like spending a bit money on a line because it's the one that is getting projected across the water. A well-balanced line, all the rods are marked up. They tell you exactly what line rate. And yes, you've got spare lines, which can be up to 60 odd feet long. For me, Scandinavian style lines, really short Scandinavian style lines up to about 40 feet are absolutely perfect and easy to cast. So when, whenever my clients come and fish and they don't bring their own equipment, 13 foot six with a short Scandinavian style line about 40 feet is absolutely perfect, easy to cast. You don't want them fishing with big spear lines, that's something they can progress into. Um, and a lot of the guys are coming from different backgrounds, course and trout angling, and you wanna make it as easy as possible. So that's my sort of go-to kit, shall we say.